are looking good because we are very pleased now to welcome back an old friend of the show. He did the show before and was a, such an enormous hit, and then now he's going to be just as big a hit this time. Big friend from the United States. What a guy. Please welcome Emo Billy! <laughs> Ben, that was one of the best exploding toilet acts I have ever seen. <laughs> oh, well, springtime is coming, which depresses me, because I'm a winter person. When I was a kid, my favorite time of year was that first snowfall. How about you? <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I'd wake up and I'd scream, Yippee, snow! And I'd run to the front door and I'd go, You know the deal, let me in now. <laughs> Memory. We have a close family. <laughs> I was in bed the other night, and I heard my parents in the next room arguing about me. <laughs> you know how parents will argue, saying stuff like, Oh, I told you he'd live. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, Easter is coming up. <laughs> Last Easter, I visited my grandma. <laughs> well had to go up to the attic anyway, you know. <laughs> Easter means a lot to me because I was raised fundamentalist Baptist. Yeah, once my dad said, Emo, do you believe in the Lord? I said, yes. He said, then stand up and shout hallelujah. So I did, and I fell out of the roller coaster. <laughs> Yeah, I used to pray every night for a new bicycle. Then I realized the Lord in his wisdom doesn't work that way. So I just stole one and asked him to forgive me. <laughs> <laughs> and I got it. Let me introduce myself. My name is Emo as opposed to an emu, which is an Australian bird, you know, a, a tall, ugly, skinny creature with a big beak. You know. <laughs> no similarity there. <laughs> I, uh, I just turned 32, made out like a bandit this year. I got some new underwear. <laughs> well, new to me. <laughs> People are hard to shop for. I said to my girlfriend, what do you want for your birthday? She said, I don't know, surprise me. Just give me something crazy and expensive I won't even need. So I signed her up for radiation treatments. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's mad at me anyway ever since I told her she looked sexy with black fingernails. And now she thinks I purposely slammed the car door on them. <laughs> I've been having problems with my car. I called the mechanic. I said I was going down a steep hill, and I went to slam on the brakes, and they didn't work. He said, sounds like you lost a lot of fluid. I said, well, who wouldn't? <laughs> People come up to me concerned that I'll reproduce. <laughs> well... I don't know, I'd like to have children. My sister just had a baby. Yeah, we could have company over and she'll be in front of everyone with her breast out feeding him <laughs> cereal or whatever. <laughs> and <laughs> the other day I'm pushing him through the park and he's crying, <laughs> you know, because I forgot the pram. <laughs> The weirdest thing happened to me. 
I'm walking down the street, and I say to myself, my gosh, that's Jimmy Peterson. I haven't seen him since we were 10. And I went up to him, and I slapped him on the back. I said, how's it going, you old rascal, you old codger? And I knock him down, and he starts crying, oh, mommy, mommy. And I realized, wait a second. If that's Jimmy Peterson, he would have grown up, too. <laughs> oh, it got me thinking about those old school days. Once our teacher said, Emo, what's five nineteenths plus four fifteenths? And my brain started to bleed. <laughs> and she said, take it easy. What's our common denominator? I said, a fondness for little girls? <laughs> oh, she was, by and large. But anyway, I remember once we were taking a test, and I was copying this other kid's paper, and I guess the teacher heard my Xerox machine. You know. <laughs> And she said, you have to go to the headmaster. And I'm walking down that long, lonely hall. I thought, oh, this is horrible. My friend Jimmy went to the headmaster last week, and he's still not able to sit down. So I'm praying, oh, please don't let him find me attractive. <laughs> and I 